move on. It's time to welcome back one of our favourites. We've always adored Father Bob, and we certainly aren't the only ones. When Bob retired after 39 years of service in 2012, it was bittersweet. Three years earlier, the church contacted him and asked he resign when he turned 75. Bob didn't want a bar of it. I don't want to go quiet. But sadly, it wasn't up to him. And January last year saw his final service in his beloved church in South Melbourne. So there you are. That's the end of that. A documentary crew followed Bob around in his fight to stay put. And the result is in Bob We Trust. The story of a priest who didn't always toe the line by church standards, but a man who spent his entire life helping people with unwavering humour and compassion. Please hey, welcome, Father Bob. <laughs> That is, you gave yourself a standing ovation there. Oh, well, you got to because you know what I mean. You can't get this, you can't get them easily these days. Yeah. The Pope's playing cricket for God's sake. What yeah. do you reckon? Well, I reckon. I mean, we were we were defending ourselves against Bodyline, according to that movie that's going to come on in a minute. So mm. we already know about cricket, but they won't have women priests, but they'll have women cricketers. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They should use a bit of imagination. Are you, are you suggesting mm. there's hypocrisy within I'm the church? <laughs> 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 Well, I mean, I, I wish to God they'd become more what a, realistic, you know what I mean, and, and get involved in the real world and not live up to that, as you said. What did you say about the, the thing on their head? The habit. It tends, you know, to take them into a world that's a bit ethereal. It's not down to earth. Because now, you're, you're keeping it real. You well, are keeping it real 24-7. What am I doing? 80 years of age, a wedding this afternoon, you're harder to book than the a Southern hat Cross this morning. <laughs> some political protest about poverty, and a great pleasure to be included in this show tonight. Did you think you would be so busy after retiring? I mean, you're just doing oh, so much. I think much. it was I intended. I intended, because <laughs> the idea was to get off the field, go back into the grandstand, you see, and be be, be the water boy or something. But I, I, I never I never believed that in my life. I think you, the older you get, the more you're supposed to do, because you're freer. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? That's what I believe. I mean, it could be bullshit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, I don't know, you know what I mean? I only follow me nose, you know what I mean? That's all I do. Now, we've, we've been given some idea of, of, of your life after, after leaving... Uh, not after, after, after death. Standing, not, not after, after death, death no. not yet. <laughs> um, but in the documentary in Bob We Trust, the yeah. cameras followed you for three years. Three, four years. How did you find that? that you seem I so, didn't You're such a shy flower. Yeah. You, you avoid, well, I am. You avoid I'm a bit camera. of a recluse. Look, I, you know, I'm a bit of a monk myself. But, but, uh, but I'm see, all I said at the time was, this is body line. They're bowling at, at us down there in South Melbourne, Port Melbourne, and they're causing us terrible uh, social uh, and emotional distress. And all you could do was to face up to the body line. And I said, I better get this recorded by somebody. And you can't be walking around with a bloody camera yourself doing selfies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, along comes Ghost, the, the lovely producers, and said, listen, do you mind if we do this? I didn't like it for the first uh, six months. It was a bit embarrassing, I thought, because I'm, I'm eccentric. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I saw the replay, you know what I mean? I'm saying, what the... What's wrong with this bloke? Yeah. You know? But then they kept coming around and I thought they were going to drive me mad, but in fact I think I've driven the poor buggers mad myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> they believe the stuff. But after all that, Bob, were you, were you happy with the final product? Yeah, well, I am. I am because it's not about me. I keep banging on about this and people say, it's bullshit, he's, he's trying to get, get out from under it. I want it to be about the people of South Melbourne, Port Melbourne, especially the young people. We lost 40 of them in the 80s on our watch and I wanted to stay there longer to make sure it never happened again. And headquarters intervened, you see, and said, get out of there, we want to try another stunt. And I said, excuse me, this is not a bloody stunt. We're in there with people getting down and dirty and we want to stay here and try to turn the, 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 the event so that no kid goes through the same Scar Wars. Well, I'll tell you, you one know? event that is full of stunts, uh, Father Bob, and right. that is Halloween. And I want to get your thoughts on something with Halloween. Uh, a man in the States has put this stunt together out the front of his house. Oh my now, that's God. a fake oh. person. It's not a real person. Oh. That's a fake person. And all the neighbours complained. Police turned up. And here he is providing a summary of uh, well, his thoughts on, the, on what happened with the police. A Mustang City inspector showed up and said there was nothing no law broke or anything like that, you know, just keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
Do you, enjoy, do you enjoy Halloween? Do you get involved? Time, no, I haven't been involved in Halloween. I'm a bit nervous about pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about right. pumpkins. Well, well I've got mine a bit shaped that way myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and my teeth aren't too good. Well, it's always so, a delight to have you here, Bob. We love having right? you Thanks here. Yep, your doco in Thanks Bob We Trust me. is showing oh, yeah. in selected cinemas around the <laughs> yeah, country. Yeah, you've got to go to Nova. Everybody's got to go to Nova or Mrs Nova's going to take the thing off. OK, there you go. <laughs> All the details are on that website of where you can go see Bob's film.